With this new summer look, we're going to use classic colors, simple applications, but with new vibrant additions that's going to energize your look and give you the energy you need to go forward and create a new experience. As I mentioned, we're bringing in color with these looks, so I'm taking some classic pieces that I've shown you before, but I'm mixing them up with those new items that are going to add that vibrancy to your look, that are really going to energize how you feel just in your day-to-day -day experience, whether you're at home still or if you're now venturing out a little bit more. What we're going to do is start with our eyes, and we do have some new primers, and I really like this primer. I don't know if you've had this experience, but with our older primer, the one that was the lip and the eye primer, it was a very effective tool and it worked great for many people, but it actually irritated my eyes, so I tended not to use it very often. This one doesn't bother me at all. It's so great. So it's pretty thick, so it comes out a little slow. I like to warm it up a little bit on the back of my hand, so I'll squeeze out a little bit. And you don't need very much, just the tiniest, tiniest little bit. And then use your concealer brush to kind of mix it around and warm it up a little bit. So just warm it there on the back of your hand. It's a very nice, smooth consistency, and it creates a matte palette that you can then use your colors on. So you're just gonna cover it lightly over your eyelid and it blends really nicely. I do have um, full coverage foundation on and I use Carol's routine that she's shown before. So um, you can look at that if you wanna know how I did my foundation and my brows. So if I use a primer, my colors stay more vibrant and in place. When you don't use a primer, especially with these intense pigments that we type fours use, you can lose some of the color as the day wears on and also, um, They'll, they'll crease in your eyes. They're in the crease area. You'll get those lines of color. When you use the primer, it doesn't happen um, near as badly or at all. So I've got my primer on. I'm going to go for my eyeshadows. So we have two new eyeshadows we're showing today. Pale Vanilla is a uh, slightly shimmery. So you're going to kind of a, a mixture between a matte and a shimmer, but it's more like a pearlized color. So you get a nice nude natural thing that you can use over your whole eyelid without adding too much shimmer that's going to conflict with your with your other colors so i'm going to use this new blender brush it's really large and it's really neat because it has a very pointed end you can see so you can determine how much shadow and how much cover you get with it by how much pressure you use when picking up your color and applying it to your eyes but this is my all over color so i'm going to get a good coating on my brush and i'm going to cover my entire eyelid so all the way here and even up into my brow, this is gonna set that base and create just a hint, 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 hint of pearly shimmer. I'm gonna cover that all over. And this is a really great color because, you know, um, unlike the white, if you get it around, you might get a little bit of like whiteness down here, but because this is more of a, a natural color that blends in well with many skin tones, you're not gonna see that fallout. So I'm actually gonna use my same brush and I'm just gonna kind of dust it off. And this is our hibiscus matte. So it is a slight warm peachy pink color. And see this time I'm not covering the whole brush, just the end of the brush. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start here on the outside of the eye and go all the way in, just in and above the crease. This is gonna warm my eye, give me a nice warm blush flush color make me look like i've got some color on my eyes especially since we've all been inside a lot we've lost some of our rosy glow and we're going to put some of that in you can see we just got our base now we're going to add color but i'm not going to use the colored eyeshadow just yet we're going to save that i'm going to go straight to my new very vibrant blue eyeliner we're going to do a classic lining with this and try to get as close into your lashes as possible because this is blue. So if you leave any space between your lid and your lashes, it's gonna show up. But even if it does, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. It's not a problem. So just gonna cover this. And you know, if you really wanted to just spice this look up a little bit, you could do Anna Kay's cat eye look with the wing there on the side. But we're gonna keep it classic with this. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna spice it up with that blue eyeshadow and a new brush that is unlike any brush you've ever seen before. And it's gonna help you do things with your eyeliner you didn't know you could do. So we're gonna get that in there. Beautifully, lovely, great. 
a little more out here on the outside, making sure they're even. You can see how this combination of the natural, the warm peachy pink, and the blue just creates a really nice, natural, yet exciting look. So I'm gonna pick, we have a new angled brush, and I like this because the end is white, so you can really see how much color you've picked up. So as before, when I've talked to you about these bold colors, we're not brushing our brush. We're ever so lightly tapping on the color because these are highly pigmented shadows. And you may wanna tap a little bit here. You see that fallout that comes off on my hand? Let's get that on our hand and not underneath our eye. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put the larger side of the brush down, shorter side up, so this gets into the crease. And we're gonna take this just on the brow bone, just above the crease to add this nice shadow of blue. I'm gonna do a little more color because you can always add more color. So start with less because taking away color is hard and it messes up your foundation shadow colors. So add a little bit as you go until you get the desired vibrancy. And that, you know, that may change whether this is a daytime look or an evening look. Now turn your brush the other way so that the longer bristles are up. Start at that brow bone and comb this down, brush this down into the lash line with a slight curve. So I'm not putting more blue on here, I'm just using what's already there just to connect the blue line with the blue shadow area. So here's where the new brush comes in. So this is a bent liner brush. And you might think, why do I want a bent liner brush? Well, let me show you why this is amazing. So you can steady this, your fingers on your cheek here, and you can get this into your line without having, I don't know if you've tried straight on pencil liners, you can't see what's going on in your eye because this handle's in the way. But with this like this, you can see what's happening, have more control, steady your hand with your cheekbone here and create anything you want. You see all this movement I have here? Well, it's being really steady and anchored there. So we're gonna pick up some of our blue. And if you wanted this more intense, you could wet this, but this is a daytime look for me for a fresh summer look. So I'm just using it dry and I'm going to comb it into the lash line here to make sure that I don't have any of those white lines like I talked about. This is how you fix that. You can just brush it in there, connect all the liner with the lash. This also sets your liner. So if you're someone who's prone to having your eyeliner stick up onto your eyelid as the day wears on, this is gonna set that. But I will say, I generally have that problem if I don't use powder, but with this liner, it didn't. I used it the first time without any powder and I didn't have any lines. So I think it's a really good consistency that stays put. It's not as smooth going on, but the stain is really, really good. So now I've intensified that line. I wanna put a little bit under my lash line here on the bottom. Got a little bit dry makeup there, get that off. So we're gonna do this right along the lash line. And this is gonna make a lot of sense once we use our mascara and I'm gonna show you why. So put that in there. And I'm gonna connect that line up there. That blue, I'm going about halfway in my eye along the line here. And I'm not doing in the water liner, I'm doing in the lash line because it's blue and I don't really want that much blue showing up. So I'm gonna stop here, but wait, if you wanted to intensify this blue look and make it more vibrant, you can pick up more of this. And what you can do is you can brush this blue right in slightly above the lash line and intensify this blue line right there with this. And that's gonna connect with the blue shadow we already have. So it's gonna create a more intense blue while still being connected without looking too um, harsh because we've created the base with the blue shadow already. So that's where I'm gonna stop with shadows, but we're not done with blue yet, oh no. So this is the Vibrant Blue Mascara, and if you've seen it in the store, it looks really intense, right? Because it's blue, and it's blue blue, and I haven't used it as much because I was a little afraid of it too. I'm like, I don't wanna look you know, too crazy blue. But I tried it with this look and the combination created such a nice connection that you are just like, oh, hey, your lashes are blue without it being like, whoa, her lashes are blue. So watch, watch what this happens. And I have already used the lash primer and combed it out nicely and it's set and dry. So this is gonna be a really beautiful full look. We're gonna coat the lashes really, really well. And this is that gel applicator too. So it, um, it doesn't really leave any clumps. It's really nice. So I'm gonna comb it in there. So you could stop there, but if you want, you can also just touch this a little bit on the ends of your lower lashes if you wanted to add a little more 
Vavoom down here. You can see this adds so much vibrancy to my eye look without it being overstated. It's just really bold, really beautiful, and clean. And all those connections of the blue create a really nice look. So now that my eyes are done, we're gonna move on to cheeks. Keeping it simple, we're using Salsa Blush, and we have this new Duo Blush Brush, and it has a rounded side and an angled side. So depending on how much color or where you want the placement to go, this is really great for getting, like if you wanna use it with powders, getting in areas like this, if you're gonna use um, like a highlighter or a shimmer, this is really great to get those like pinpointed areas if you wanna use it for contouring. Um, and this is your classic angle brush, which is always a favorite of mine. But I do, I'm gonna use this side because I wanna show you how you can get that precision. And because it does have white bristles on the end, you can really see how much pigment you've got on your brush there. So I'm gonna tap this off and look, you can create this beautiful line, know exactly where your blush is going, and then you can blend it with the other side. So I know where my blush is. I've got my lines equal. They're parallel with my jawline. So that's going to enhance that beautiful symmetry that we type fours have in our facial features. And then I'm going to blend it in with this side. You could directly apply it with this side too, and I do that often. But you, I wanted to show you that precision you can achieve with this rounded end. So that's my blush. And sometimes I'll take the little bit that's left over and just like, you know, highlight those those um, areas where we want to warm it up a little bit or add some shading. So now onto lips. This is the new lip primer and it goes on really easy and fast. I have used concealer around my lips um, as kind of like a, a barrier. So just put some on like a lip gloss, it's really easy. And it's um, kind of goes on a little white, but it blends right in. Primer is especially important for our type four colors because they are very pigmented and intense and we don't want those bleeding around our mouth because that wouldn't look very, look very nice. So I'm using the Golden Gate Lip Liner, which is an orange because I just love the combination of royal blue with orange together. I think it looks really good. They complement each other nicely. So we're gonna line, I'm doing the X here on the Cupid's bow and then taking it down. What's nice about the primer too, is it helps your liner go on really smooth. And then when it all sets nicely, it just sits there all day. So I love lipstick, of course. I definitely tend more towards lipstick than lip gloss for myself. And something I really like that's like a happy medium between a lip gloss and a lipstick is a lip balm. And we have this beautiful uh, grapefruit lip balm. This is a nice sheer orange, but has just enough color that you can connect your lines and really amplify the lip look. So it goes on like a lipstick. And it's a beautiful coral orange. Uh, it looks lovely with this Golden Gate lip liner. But you can see, like, there's not a ton of color in it. And you just blend it right in. What I love about things like this, you know, like these balms, is you can keep them in your purse or your wallet, especially because this one is so slim easily fits in a wallet and you can put your you can refresh your lips without needing a mirror because I don't know about you but I'm a little shy about putting lipstick on directly without a mirror because of the high pigments of our colors I wouldn't want to do that and then to put a little bit off to the side but with this because it's the color isn't quite intense you can just really feel where it's going and it has this more precision edge so it's smaller you know you can just put it on and bund it in and be good to go and that's gonna make sure your liner lines stay nice and blended so this is our fresh summer look that takes a classic easy application, but using these vibrant colors allows you to energize and enliven your look. Now that we're all emerging and kind of getting into what our new normal is, this is gonna give you that energy and that drive and motivation to establish yourself again and create a new and wonderful experience.